Hi, I'm Chad from Ambic, and I'm really pleased to introduce you to one of our latest technology partners uh, here at Embedded World 2025. Why don't you introduce yourself, Ima? Hello, Chad. So uh, my name is Imad Mikhail. I work for Sequence Communications. Sequence is a fabulous semiconductor company uh, targeting uh, IoT, cellular IoT, uh, 4G and 5G. So um, what makes Sequence unique? What's your core value proposition? Why, why should our viewers care about Sequence? Good question. Well, actually, we are committed to cellular IoT. Mm. We only uh, focus on low power uh, 4G and 5G dedicated for, uh, for, for, for the IoT world, meaning we do not address phones. We only target low power applications like trackers, like uh, uh, healthcare, uh, those kind of applications. So we are committed to that. So indeed, we started 20 years ago. Uh, we are today in our 4G path and our next generation is on the door, which is the 5G uh, low power as well. Wonderful. And we've been working together for about a year. I think it was uh, just after uh, maybe nine months or so, I think we got, we got introduced. And uh, I think the reason why I'd sought you out is that I was researching the lowest power cellular connectivity companies in the world because we need to partner with the companies that offer the the lowest power consumption solutions. You know, we are the most energy efficient ARM core microcontroller, M class, uh, M Cortex M4F or M55. You will find no other lower power uh, micro using uh, using these cores. We need to be working with the lowest power uh, cellular solutions in the world. So, so um, I had sought you out. Uh, because of this, and then uh, recently, um, you all had a significant uh, uh, occurrence happen. Uh, a, a particular company in my hometown of San Diego uh, showed some confidence in you. Can you tell us a little bit about about that event? Yes, absolutely. Actually, I mean, uh, the, the the second part of your question is uh, uh, we uh, uh, Qualcomm has been uh, acquired the IP, the 4G IP from Sequence, which is the I, I would say I would say the uh, existing. Uh, with a special uh, deal where they paid us $200 million to, to acquire the IP, but with uh, letting us, uh, uh, giving us a perpetual license to keep using it, uh, ex uh, keeping our business running, so we can still uh, uh, sell our chip, build uh, modules and sell our modules and, and have partnership like uh, 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 like the one we are, we are having together. Now, going back to the first part of your yeah. of your of, the, of your question or your discussion, uh, uh, indeed, the combination of our two technologies is a game changer. Because I mean, until now, most of the IoT applications are uh, uh, patterned by I mean, sending data to the cloud on a specific pattern. Something like I I uh, I start at nine and I send uh, every day on nine o'clock. I send the data, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now the combination of our two technologies, bringing AI, low power AI, and combined to the to the low power cellular IoT, uh, the combination is a winning combination because at the end, I mean, the device or it could be smart meter or anything would be smarter than uh, the way it's go going today. Meaning no need to pattern to do patterns on the t on the transmissions, while the device will start. Uh, uh, under, or, or, or understanding the, the situation where it is. So, for instance, I, I just say out of, uh, an example: a mm -hmm. smart meter would notice if the if the uh, people are inside the house or on vacation. So though there's no need to transmit data every day on mm -hmm. nine o'clock, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, combining the edge AI, low sure. power edge AI to low power cellular would be beneficial to a lot of applications. That's an excellent example that you gave, and. I wanted to talk a little bit about that, uh, that, that uh, licensing deal because at Ambic, we were thrilled when we saw that happen. We found that as an incredible validation that we were working with the right company. If uh, a company like Qualcomm with their significant RF expertise sees value in what you're doing, um, that's, that's awesome for Ambic and, and really important for Ambic customers. Uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, the, 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 the acquisition of Qualcomm, uh, of our IP by Qualcomm was really an uh, endorsement for our all the efforts that we did in, in, this, uh, in the IoT world, because yes. it's really, it's one of the, it's the best giving us the credits that they are acquiring technology made by Sequence, and we are proud of this. Fantastic. 
what can we expect from uh, Sequans in the future? What are what are you working on that you can talk about with our, our public audience here? Absolutely. I mean, re, uh, uh, last week during Mobile World Congress, uh, we announced our new generation, which is Monarch 3 and Calliope 3, which are the second generation, which are 4G, 5G, uh, E-rate cap coming to the market. Uh, the, the first one is a CATM and BIOT with E-rate cap, and the second one is a uh, I would call it the other way around. It's a 5G e red cap with mm. a fallback on Cat1 base, of course. Okay. Oh, wonderful. And when can we expect that product to hit the market? We target to have our chip sampling on uh, uh, first quarter 2026. Okay, excellent. Great. Well, um, what I'd like to do next is um, why don't we cut over to our initial proof of concept demonstration that we built together, and we can talk about the kind of roadmap of, uh, of integration of Sequans onto Ambix platforms, where we're helping to make it easier for Ambix customers to connect to cellular networks um, while sipping uh, electrons uh, rather than drinking through fire hoses as they do with, uh, with other uh, radio solutions. Sure, I mean, today we started, I mean, our, our collaboration is on, let's say on board level, yeah. where we are connecting uh, the, uh, 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 the uh, Ambix uh, MCU to our uh, seller IoT, uh, but at board level. What we are preparing right now is a small board like this, I mean, which can be fitting, I mean, fitting on, on an EVK in a smaller uh, uh, um, uh, smaller part as what we have today. And indeed, our collaboration could lead to much more integrated either on module level or on chip level. Uh, all this is a, is a, is a future uh, possibility. Yes, the future is very, very exciting. And we're looking forward to this board being completed because we'll be able to plug this onto our own evaluation boards for the Apollo 510 and all of our future Ambic uh, energy efficient SOCs will include this MicroE click standard, which will allow you to, to plug in on your microbus uh, module onto our boards and then customers will be able to bring up cellular connectivity quite, quite readily. Absolutely. I mean, it's very easy to use. As you only, uh, I know that on your on your existing board, you already have the uh, the possibility for the click boards, and this is just a normal click board with having the uh, sequence gmo 2 s which is the Monarch 2 Cat uh, MNB IoT. We just plug it in, in the board. Wonderful. And, uh, and when can customers get their hands on this? It's already in the market. I mean, people can go and buy it from micro e uh, shop. Wonderful. Yeah, that's very exciting. Well, uh, let's uh, cut away and have a look at uh, the new proof of concept demo that we put together as a board-to-board -board level solution. Kind of before we had access to this, what we uh, what we were able to wire up in the lab. Excellent. Let's let's go and have a look. Wonderful. Great. Hi. We'd like to show you the latest proof of concept demo that we've rigged up in the lab, uh, where we're showing Ambic and Sequan's uh, interoperability. So. This is a bit crude. We apologize for all of the wires, but uh, we've got Sequan's evaluation board for your Monarch 2 radio. You want to tell us a little bit about its capability, about the radio that we selected for this initial project? Uh, absolutely. I mean, this is a, uh, uh, a basic EVK with uh, Monarch 2 GMO2S, okay. which is uh, today it is connected uh, to the network. Uh, it's live connect, uh, connection uh, to the cloud. Uh, yep. So it's uh, allowing the connectivity of Ambix board directly to the cloud. Wonderful. Good, good. And so we've got Ambix board here. This is uh, one of our development boards. It's, it's a, uh, on, on this particular demo, we're showing Apollo 510, but the board that, uh, that, that our engineer used that he had available in the lab is a Apollo 4, our previous generation part, which is also very capable of running complex edge AI algorithms quite efficiently. So we're showing um, our board connected to yours, and then we've got a speaker connected to it. So the use case that we're simulating here is a healthcare scenario where I have uh, potentially, I'm wearing sensors on my body, I've potentially fallen and I can't get up. Maybe my heart rate is elevated. Um, maybe um, uh, uh, the motion has not changed very much. Maybe I'm quite still. Um, the sensors can detect that I'm in distress. So there can be an automated uh, press of a button that we're showing in an app here, which will then trigger a remote alert at the doctor uh, who's or some healthcare monitoring station who they can send help. They can then trigger um, on the infrastructure side a button to send an alert on the sensor to tell the, the user that help is on the way. 
So that, that's one of many use cases that we're showing where, where a low power cellular connection could be advantageous, where all of this could be on the body and part of a, a, a low power, long battery life sensor um, that a user can either press a button to say that they need help, or there's some automation where we're running edge AI and we're looking to see is there a heart event? Um, are we looking for um, a AFib or uh, brachycardia, some other heart uh, arrhythmia condition can be automatically detected on the edge using uh, Ambex technology, and then we can alert the healthcare professional in a very energy efficient way using, uh, using your tech. Absolutely, it was yeah. a great demonstration, and uh, indeed, I mean, the, we can we know that we can build the product out of this. It yes. won't be that bulky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is just for the demo. And what I would like to highlight is the fact that within this RF condition, where we are in a fair and we have a lot of <laughs> a lot of interferences. Yes. Despite that, I mean, the the, the, the demo worked pretty well. I mean, yeah, yeah. We we were quite nervous about coming to a show. This this show is notoriously RF very unfriendly. The spectrums are totally oversubscribed, and we just power the thing on and it just worked. Absolutely. So we were thrilled. And, and it's great. Yeah, <laughs> so so kudos to, uh, to Sequans for, uh, for your wonderful connectivity there. And um, all of this will get shrunk down onto this little click module Absolutely. so that we can then plug it onto our new Absolutely. evaluation board such as the Apollo 510, and then make this kind of a proof of concept prototyping and evaluation demonstration work uh, much, much simpler uh, moving forward. Yeah, we can get rid of the wires, get rid of, yeah, this, yeah. of the, the additional board, and it will be so. much smaller and more efficient. So about the time that our viewers are seeing this video, people will be able to get their hands on this clipboard and start plugging it into Ambic boards and, and get running with us. Absolutely, and replicate our demo. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> that's wonderful. Cool. Thank well, thanks so much, Imad, for coming and visiting Thank us you, here Chad. at Embedded World. Thank you, Chad, for hosting us. Cheers. Thank you.